investigating flame tests and using them to discover something about atomic structure. So we're going to look at the colour of each flame and be exact. Use an adjective or two when describing them rather than just um, the plain colours of the rainbow. Um, and you can use a table to write the results uh, down. That'll be the colour of the flame. And you're going to work out uh, the wavelength of the different colour light using other information later. Uh, I'm going to use chlorides of these salts. So those are the ions, the metal ions that are contained in them. The chlorides are just a little bit more volatile and so respond uh, to being heated and seeing what the colour is. So moisten a uh, wooden splint dip it into the dry crystals and then put them into the flame. The heat is going to uh, allow the electrons to rise to an excited state and the colours are given out when the electrons come back. Uh, here we have lithium iron, uh, quite a vibrant colour. You're going to use your descriptive powers to uh, write down the colour. Um, going on to calcium. Again, uh, a new taper each time so you don't cross contaminate. Um, ah, different from the lithium and very different from the copper that we started with. And so uh, going on to strontium. And I take it out of the, the flame. If the wood's going to burn, that has its own particular colour, of course. So here's strontium. Uh, just about see the colours that, uh, uh, that are different from the flame. Then going on to potassium. And here you can see just dabbing the moist taper. And look closely at that colour. Look very closely. Some parts of it are... Um, clearer to see than others and then it goes into the taper burning colour. Uh, and then sodium. Again, new taper. And so recording that very, the colour very carefully. And the next one we're going to do is barium. We're going to do it in a uh, fume hood. Uh, so you don't really want to do it in, a, in an open lab. And look really carefully. I think if I look um, once or twice, I can see we can't say the colour that we expect uh, because you have to write down what you see. And then we'll do this one uh, a couple of times just so you can... Um, look carefully at what colour you might see. The flame's really very blue there. And here are the wavelengths. I've um, got colours of the rainbow with their range of colours. So you've got to decide which uh, hue of that and whereabouts in the, the wavelength. So you can assign a wavelength to each one and energy equals um, is proportional to the inverse of the wavelength and the constant is H, Planck's constant, and C, the speed of light. And so here's an example um, using a uh, green colour. And thank you again, Washington International School, for the science facilities.